I know this angle is very unflattering and I do feel a little bit like Ricky Gervais in his bath pictures. I'll put it off. Um, I wasn't going to do a midweek video this week because it was absolutely abysmal. Uh, I think I bought two items, which is, yeah, it's, it's not really worth shouting about. And, and sales, um, let's just go through my sales quickly. So Monday, which part of that would have been included in in last month's uh, tally up. So last week's tally up, £42.98. Tuesday, £24.99. Wednesday, £74.09. Thursday, I sold nothing. So I've, I have jinxed myself now. Friday, £49.97. Saturday, twenty seven ninety nine, and a lot of the stuff that I was selling was retail arbitrage, which I'm not going to. I only share what I pick up RA wise with a, a very small group of people, because I'm just making my life very difficult for myself. I'm telling everyone where to go uh, to get really quick and easy flips because it's okay if only like two or three of people are doing it, but when like some videos are, are quite easy getting like a thousand views. It's like, it's like a thousand people are going out and just flooding the market whereas yeah it's just an absolute pain and then sunday came around and out of nowhere 184 pounds and 24 pence so yeah i wasn't planning on doing a a week one so a, a weekly update this week but it's with it being a bank holiday weekend i mean it's now monday evening and to try and put to try and add it to any other video is going to be an absolute nightmare because I've got footage from both car boots so just for ease and just to make sure that the videos aren't going to be like an hour long it's just going to be easier just to to do it as a smaller video on its own so my 31 to 31 day total is is crap it's 1600 pound which is I mean, I'd, I'd like to get it at £100 a day average, but it's not going to happen. Not anytime soon. Not until I start listing more and I change my dispatch uh, time from five days down to either one day or same day. So, yeah. Absolute prune. Right. Let's, um, let's crack on with the video, shall we? 12 inch Captain America and Iron Man toys. £30 including free postage for the pair. I think it only owes me a couple of quid and it's just been sitting online for absolutely ages. But took up no room, so I was more than happy to sit on them. But they are gone, thank God. Sold a single third print card for £10 including free postage. So you notice it's a third print holofoil because of the markings. So it's got like an embossment. You can see there, they're like little flames slash teardrops. And then on the back, the logo, that small logo there, the Tops logo, is actually in black. Whereas if I show you one from uh, a different set, no, that's also, that's also black. Oh, I can't find them. There's so many. There's so many. Um, these ones here, I think, are, these ones should be first. Can't go right at the back because they're not the right cards. I need a monster card like this one here. So you can see there, that's blue. That's black. Easiest way to tell the difference between the different sets. So you've got blue, black, and green, I believe. So yeah, different sets hold different values. So ten pounds, including free postage, for this one card. WWE 2016 on the PS4, 999 including free postage. Uh, I think it only has to make a couple of quid, but yeah. Another one sold! I have sold a bloody loads of these. 499 including free postage. Owes me anywhere between sort of 10 and 15p maybe. Yeah, I've got one or two left. And they are nice, slow, easy and cost me literally next to nothing. Welcome to the horrible carpet in my landing. Uh, £24.80 for four scratch cards. So these are relatively uncommon and not really that sought after in the collector's market. But those who do know what it is, know that it's yeah, very hard to get hold of now. Um, at one stage, there a load of these hit the market and people were trying to collect them. I've still not completed my set. 
I think I'm missing two hollow foils, which is a Pikachu and a Moltres. That is it. But these are very hard to get hold of. These are 1996, 97, sorry. So these four are going to Australia for £25.80 plus postage of around £15 or so, and it will go as a large letter. So I put this guy up for auction. Obviously, uh, the last few days we lost Chadwick Boseman, and I was intending to sell this when Black Panther 2 came out. So I decided to put it on a seven day auction and then put 20% of the sale price to Cancer Research UK. Went for £31. So I did have two of these. I sold one quite quickly and then the, the price just dropped to be honest with you. It wasn't really worth selling on. So yeah, the, the genuine intention was to wait until Black Panther 2. But it just... Uh, the, the price honestly was going to spike so 24 hour auction get rid of it and give some more money to charity so that way everybody wins so he died very very young um kept a secret from a lot of people so my, my thoughts do go out to, to all of those surrounded by him and to, to all of those who have been affected by his untimely death uh count as a bitch a custom bundle of three Harry Potter snow globes for just over £25, including postage. Bought these tail end of last year. I remember because it was inside. So it would have been, yeah, end of last year for £3 each or so. So yeah, sold three for £25-ish. The happiest of feet, £2.99, including free postage. You guessed it, we sold some more Pokemon cards. £55 and £25, sorry... 52 pounds and 25 pence or 55 pounds and 25 one of those numbers is about 50 to 55 quid um four two three four five six seven eight nine ten cards not bad really is it includes three postage though so i have to take that off the amount and uh yeah our running total is looking very healthy transformers dark of the moon blu-ray two pound 49 including free postage I'm fairly sure this is one of the ones that owes me about 33 pence. So, nice, easy feedback fodder. Sold the TMNT bundle for just over a tenner. I think it was £10.61. I'll be honest, I thought it was going to go for about double that. So, as much as I am disappointed, sometimes she's got to move things from A to B just to get it out of the way. So, um, yeah, a lot of sorting out would have needed to have been done. Made a few quid on top. Nothing major, but you win some, you lose some. So this has been sitting in my charity shop for about, was it before lockdown? They weren't £25 for it. And they had a 50% off absolutely everything in store. And it was in the display cabinet and it was hidden behind a, an extremely overpriced book. I think it was um, Lord of the Rings trilogy all in one book, which they wanted like 30 quid for anyway. So down to half price. So 24 95 divided by two, that's what I paid for it. A complete... Really good condition inside. In fact, it looks completely unplayed. Prices online at the moment are anywhere between, honestly, between like 30 and 70 pounds. So yeah, cracking little buy that one. So slim pickings for the week. We picked up a pair of Caramore Hot Rock boots. I paid 12 pounds for the pair. So it's like a, a blue, like, felty suede and then you've got the orfo leather at the front uh fairly good condition maybe 30 pounds back on them uh yeah good condition you can see from the the soles that there's not much use in them whatsoever so a little bit of cleaning they can be listed pretty much straight away with there being no sunday stream my wife doesn't know it yet but this is what i'm going to be doing this evening uh sorting out carts so that there's only one of each, so then I'll just sell the rest. Which uh, might take a little bit of time. So I've taken the camera away from that really unflattering angle. So yeah, this week wasn't that bad. It was the Sunday sales that sort of saved it. But yeah, it's £300. £360 is £360 more than what I had. So I need to stop being so negative. I'm blaming the crap weather, but today the weather was glorious. From about 1.30 onwards, which was really nice. So, 
there will be live footage from i've not actually gone through any of it yet so i could be making a massive fool of myself and lying but I, hopefully i'm not there should be footage from both sunday and bank holiday monday uh a good load of toys on the monday haul and i can't even remember what i picked up on sunday so it's been a very very busy weekend but that is it from me as always thank you for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you lovely lot in the next video good gaming and happy collecting adios